What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Monday. The storm has passed. We made it through. Just another rainy day in Southwest Florida, but guess what? The new storm is rolling in about Thursday, Friday-ish. Who knows? Still a little bit too early, but I'm ready. Bring it on. That's what I say. Anyways, listen. Action-packed video today. We're talking price. Amazing weekend in price action. Love seeing those weekends where the price just keeps moving up. You kind of want to be glued to your phone, but you kind of want to be outside, but you're fighting yourself. You know what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about Swift and some new meeting poster. I don't even know what you want to call it. We'll call it a tweet that they put out talking about improvements coming. You know their big event is upcoming in October. We're going to go over that. We're going to talk about the TA, the charts, where we're going, what we're looking for. Because you're going to like to see that. I'm sure you are because it is nothing but good times, people. Everything is pointing to September. Let me tell you something. And then we're going to talk about the Rippleverse SEC lawsuit. Wait till you hear what is going on over on the SEC side of things. Without further ado, let's get going. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. It's a free way to support me. Leave a comment below. Also, check out the Patreon if you're looking for more information, more detailed deep dives, some more inside research, and also some TA charts. As this market heats up, we are going to look to take advantage of some of these other crypto coins, get some nice little trading bags going, and make some extra profit. So when it comes time to sell, we don't have to touch our XRP. Whew, all, all one breath right there, people. All right, here we go. Live coin watch. <clears throat> Bitcoin. 46,570. The Bitcoin dominance has stayed under 46%. Just like I told every each and every one of you on my Patreons the other day. That's what we want to see. If we had Bitcoin staying under a dominance of 46%, we were going to see a push up in all coins. I believe we have seen a nice little push. Do I believe we're done? No. But do I believe there is a minor correction on the way? Of course. We have gone up so much. In the past seven days, I mean, XRP almost went up 60%. Cardano went up almost 50%. Binance went up 25%. We have seen so much push up that there needs to be a correction at some point. Does it come now? Does it come at $1.50? I don't know. Time is going to tell. I smell a little bit of a correction coming. But it's all is good because you need a correction in the market to keep on running up. XRP can't just keep going parabolic forever. Forever. Excuse me. It needs to have a correction so it can continue its push up. Are we still getting a $10 XRP this year? You better bet your bottom dollar on we're getting a $10 XRP. That's just my minimum price prediction. <clears throat> you don't want to know what my maximum price prediction for this year is. And I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, that's right. I know you got excited there. But listen, minimum 10 bucks. Come on. Easy. Easy money right there. No doubts about it. Now, before we get into the news, I want to give a couple shout outs to two different people. First... My man over at When Moon Energy. Listen, if you don't know about When Moon Energy, you need to A, go to his account at When Moon Energy. This is the first crypto inspired energy drink. Yes, you heard me correct. Crypto inspired, hence the When Moon energy drink. Three flavors coming out is official. The launch date is in October. Go to his page. You can see the artwork. You can see the cans. And listen, I was able to try this drink firsthand. It is amazing. It blows away your name brand energy drinks out there. Your rock stars, your monsters, your bangs. Absolutely destroys them. This is a healthy energy drink. I actually drank mine before I went to the gym. I had an amazing leg day after drinking it. But listen, how cool is this? At When Moon Energy. And listen, I'm not affiliated with him whatsoever. His business, I'm not involved. I've just been so lucky enough to be able to try some. Maybe because... He was pretty close to me. Shipping wasn't that much. I don't know. Anyways, listen. Head over to him. Make sure you comment on his post. I'm showing the post right here. I'll link it in the video below. Okay? Anywhere in the world this is open to. So pay attention. You need to like his post. Retweet the post and tag someone in the comments. Very simple. <clears throat> Just like any other giveaway. You got this whole week to do it. Closes on August 20th. August 21st, the random generator is going to pick the winner. He will send you a sample, which is a nice size sample, and an, of the Energy Berry Blast Off. Here's the image he created. That's what the can looks like. Beautiful artwork. I'm telling you, I've tried it. 
It is amazing. As soon as it comes out in October, you know I'm definitely stocking up on it in the office at work. I'll have them for my softball and kickball games, which start in about a month. Go give them a follow. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to like or retweet the post. And hey, take someone else you think is going to enjoy it. And then from man, XRP Jags, I told you yesterday, we helped them out. I think we got another like 60 people in the community. He has a free, yes, free Facebook group where he gathers all of the XRP information, all of the videos, all of the news, and he drops it into this Facebook group. It's called Do It Like the Bearable Bull. Go join the group. It is private. He will have to accept your request coming in. I am sure 99.9% .9 of you out there have a Facebook group. I'm the 0.1% that all. I don't have anything Facebook associated. How crazy is that? Head over to his page. Do it like the bearable bull. Hit join. Now let's get into this. Swift. Check this out. Swift's annual Cybos event is scheduled for October. Below is a screenshot of the themes for this year. The themes seem very timely. Also interesting seeing the partners for this year's event. Digital acceleration, managing risk, transform transformative, transformative, geez, technology and banking on change. It's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of the CBOS event. Now, for those of you who don't know, Swift holds this event every year. This is equivalent to Ripple's event, Swell. The only reason Ripple actually created an event called Swell was because they got kicked out of CBOS one year. So they were like, you know what? We're going to have our own event. And that's how it all got started. So now you got Swift and CBOS, Ripple and Swell. October is a big month for meetings. Let's get into the TA from my man, Jay. Jay, I kind of want to touch base with you. Maybe we can start working on something here together, buddy. Why don't you reach out? Let's see what we can figure out. He says an XRP update on the two-week time frame. The MACD. I can't say this word. This, we'll just call it the stock RSI. Just had a momentum change to bullish. That's uh, great. Whenever you flip one of these RSIs from bearish to bullish, get ready. It's nothing but positive vibes and good things ahead. It says it doesn't mean we can dip short term. Just know that somebody that just know that nobody is ready for what's about to come in September. Tell you all the charts, all the news, everything is lining up for September, and it makes sense, right? Because when's Ripple's annual event usually? It didn't look this time, but I'm sure it is. It's in, it's usually in October because it's usually around my birthday. Swell. What do we usually see before swell? We usually see a price run up. So September lines up for these charts to flip, the charts to take off, for the news to come in, for a settlement to happen, and to push this price up, and then for some even more banging news coming out of Swell. As we blow his chart up and we take a look a little bit closer, here are his lines. Listen, the time scale at the bottom is not time to date, okay? The charts look phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. One tip, or two tips from Jay, buy the dips and the corrections. The MACD and the stock RSI are both pointing momentum changes to bullish on the longer time frame. Mathematically, the lower target shit on my charts may not get hit, but it's possibly, but it's highly unlikely now. So there is a very good chance that we might have found the bottom and that it is up from here. Up, pull back to support, resume going up. His first target. $8.92, which corresponds to the 2.618 Fib. Target 2, 14.28, which corresponds to the 4.618 Fib. This is beautiful. And then as always, once you get those run-ups to $8, and $9, and $14, there will be a pullback. He's thinking we get the pullback to the 1.618, which is about $5.61, before we continue to climb to $50. Now listen to me closely. Turn your headphones on. Turn your speakers up. The monthly close on XRP. Sitting at $1.29 right now. If we close the monthly in about two weeks, above $0.75. Cents. Strap in, people, because September is going to be fireworks. Fireworks. 
Hope you have your exit plans ready. Hope you know what you're doing because when this hits, it's going to hit. And you're not going to have time to sit there and type on your keyboard and figure out where you're going and sign up for this exchange, sign up for that exchange. You know what happens. These exchanges get locked up. They get locked up. You can't get on. Square everything away now. Get all your verifications done. Have multiple exchanges you have on and off for them. Get the stable coins set up. Get the banking connected. You know what you got to do. And then check this article coming from the National Lord Journal. As the SEC chairman pushes his attorneys, some are choosing the door. So it seems like uh, Gary Gintz is going in there. He's demanding a little too much of his attorneys. And a lot of them are leaving, going to private firms. But that's not what I want to focus on here. What I want to focus on is right here. Deals made by the enforcement division with rules breaking require sign-off from the commissioner. Actually, hold on. Let me back up a line. He says, former SEC attorneys say they predict more, more defectives this year based on some internal agency conflict. In particular, private practice lawyers, lawyers who have recently left the SEC point to Gensler's willingness to scuttle handshake settlement deals that agency attorneys already negotiated, more so apparently than previous chairs. So what they're saying right there is that these SEC lawyers have made deals, have made settlements, have made agreements and arrangements. They have shaken off with the client, aka Ripple. And they said, okay, deal's done. We're going to we're gonna lock this up. Let's get all the paperwork together. Let's seal this thing. Let's hide what we need to hide. Let's not release it. Let's not leak it. Settlement's on the way. But then you got Gensler stepping in. And he's saying, not so fast, people. I'm not happy with you guys just settling. I'm going to reject these. I want more from the settlements. It says, according to lawyers who have recently... Worked on enforcement deals with the SEC. Multiple settlements have been rejected as they've been presented to the commissioner for approval. Because Gensler, they say, wants more compensation from the defendants and feels the level of last few years have not been sufficient. He wants these cases settled, but he wants the resolutions to be stronger and more significant. One former SEC lawyer who is now a partner at DC headquartered firm said... The situation is, dis is disconcerting on two fronts, said former SEC lawyer who are now in private practice. One is that the staff is demoralized when the settlement is rejected by the commissioner. The other is that it doesn't look good, said another ex-SEC attorney based in D.C. To go back to the defense counsel and say, we thought we had authority to reach the settlement, but we don't. So what's going on here? You have all these companies coming to the SEC, making settlement deals, doing their job. Just to be overruled by the above each and every time. A, this is why we've seen a lot of people leave the SEC. B, this is why we're seeing they're so short-staffed. C, this is why we're seeing that they can't come to a, an, a, a conclusion or an answer or give you an opinion or an answer because they don't know if what they're going to say is about to be overturned. The most embarrassing thing in this world is for you to get something figured out. For example, take, your, take yourself. Take, you're going to go buy a car, right? You're going to go buy a car. You get the deal done. You get this amazing deal. You and the dealer, you shake hands. The deal's great. Next thing you know, here comes the wife, the girlfriend, whoever it might be. Come flying in from center field. She says, you ain't buying this. Pack your bags and let's go. How embarrassing, how demoralizing is that? That's what Gensler is doing. So, my bet, Ripple and the SEC, you're getting a settlement. But they are tightening the buttons. They're making it a little bit stronger so the SEC looks a little bit bigger. Listen, there's no way the SEC runs this case all the way to the end. One, and the one major example, one major reason I'm going to give you here before, because the SEC gloats that they have never lost a securities case. They take this thing to the end and they put this in the judge's hands. They're going to lose a securities case. They don't want that one. They want to be undefeated on their record. Just like any champion, they want to be 75-0, and 0, not 75-1. and 1, Or 75-0-1 oh with a tie in there. They want to say that they're undefeated. That's how they keep in power. That's how they intimidate people. So if you think for some crazy reason that this thing isn't going to be settled, boy, oh boy, you got something else coming. And then real quick, I know this video's a little wrong. Walmart. Yes, Walmart is seeking to hire a cryptocurrency lead. Of course they are. You're going to see Walmart, Amazon, Google, you name it. All these top companies in the world are going to be hiring cryptocurrency leads, people. Listen, that's where I got to leave it. Hope you enjoyed. It's a great video. Check out the Patreon. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.